Okay, so this is going to be an experiment. I do a little scrapping. I've got me a fire going in my old wood stove there in the corner. And this is full of scrap copper. It's a little basket that I made out of some wire shelving. And I'm going to try. Because junkyard will pay you a lot more for burn off copper than they will uh, insulated copper. But I always have trouble figuring out a way to burn it off. And so this is going to be a test. I'm going to, I built that basket and filled it full of scrap copper. And I'm going to throw it in the wood stove now that I got the wood stove cranked up. And then we'll see how it turns out. Well, there it is. It's in there. We'll see how it does. Okay, so it's the next day. Fire's going out. I'm ready to fish my basket of wire out and see how that little experiment turned out. So my plan is, is I'm just going to dump it all right here on the concrete floor and uh, knock all the ash and debris, everything I can out of it, and then just fish the copper out and put it in a bucket. So we'll see how it turns out. So far so good. I don't look too bad. Drop it down here. Yeah, I can knock quite a bit of the ash out of it just through the cage here. quite a bit out of it just rolling it around down here on the ground I think it done pretty good I'm gonna dump it out I know I've got quite a few scrappers lately on my channel. So maybe you guys have a better way of doing this. You can fill me in in the comments. But I know burning off copper has always a, been a pain for me. But when you sell it just in a bucket, it, it's about a third. If you sell it with the insulation on it, what I get at my scrapyard. It, it usually works out to be about a third or maybe 25% of the value is if you burn it off. And so I've got a bucket here. It's already got a little bit in it. I don't know what you're used to seeing, but my scrap yard gives me the better price when it looks like this. You, know, you can see down in there to me it still looks pretty nasty but I guess you get rid of the most of that ins insulation and they'll take it so now I've kind of dumped that out and stirred it around I swept up what came off of it first before I dumped it out and then I mashed around on it with my little shovel and uh, I think I've got enough of it knocked off of it now that I'm going to pick it all back up and then put it in that bucket and pack it down. I think it'll be good enough for my scrap yard. I think they'll give me the better price. So I'll show you the results when I get it all picked up here. Okay. I'm happy with it. This is what's left. I took that pitchfork and uh, just picked it all up off the ground with the pitchfork. Shook some rest of the scrap off of it and uh, put it in the bucket. And now it leaves me with 
a lot of fines. You can see in there, there's still a lot of copper in there. But uh, unfortunately, what I have to scrap is a lot of uh, appliances and electronics, stuff like that. So it's got a lot of little bitty pieces of wire in it and pretty fine gauge wire. So it's not the best to scrap for copper, but I do it. Throw it in the bucket. I get enough to burn it off. I do. That's why I've got so much waste there in my ashes is because they're just too fine and they fall little short pieces and it's just, it's hard to capture them. So uh, there's some loss there, but I don't think it'll be enough to make that much difference. I think the, the better price that I'm going to get is going to more than pay for the loss that I have burning it off. Anyway, I've got this tool here. A little thing that I welded to scrape ashes out of my wood stove. And so I take it, pack that all down in there, mash it all down in the bucket. And I've got a half a bucket full of copper now with what I already had in there. So I'll keep doing that until I'm ready to go to the scrap yard and then I'll have a bucket of burnt copper. I'm satisfied with the test. I'm happy with it. If my junkyard's happy with it, I'm in business. <laughs> so we'll see. Unless they deny it and give me the cheap price anyway, then it was all for naught. <laughs> so anyway, that's my experiment. I'll probably go ahead and post this one because I don't know when I'm going to the scrap yard. I don't even know if I can get to the scrap yard or not with all the floods and the roads closed and everything. So anyway, when I do sell it, I'll make a reference back to this video, and for now, thanks for watching. If you're a scrapper, and I know some of you are, uh, leave comments. What do you think? What did I do wrong? <laughs> I can take it. <laughs> thanks for watching.